What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and today let's talk about the awesome La Brea Tar Pits. So right here in the middle of Hancock Park in urban Los Angeles, these natural tar pits formed when tar seeped up through the ground, trapping animals and preserving the bones. This has been going on for tens of thousands of years, and now the museum, the George C. Page Museum, is dedicated to it. Let's get into the history and some background on this. Humans have been taking advantage of the tar pits for the last 10,000 or so years. The natives that were located in the area used asphalt to waterproof their canoes and baskets. During the Spanish occupation of California in the 18th century, the land was a cattle ranch. In 1828, a Mexican land grant called Rancho La Brea gave 4,400 acres to Antonio Jose Roca with the provision that the residents of the Pueblo could have access to as much asphalt as they needed. This is what the area looked like before it was developed and divided. As L.A. grew, developed, and turned into an oil town, the rancho was eventually subdivided, and the majority of the land that is now La Brea Tar Pits belonged to the Hancock family, Henry, Ida, and their children, including their son, George Allen. This is Ida, pictured here. The Hancocks farmed some of the land, but the majority of their income came from the asphalt and tar extracted from the strange smelly lakes and streams that covered the southern end of their property. Occasionally, workers would find an ancient bone, like the tooth of a saber-toothed tiger, but they elicited little interest at the time. It wasn't until 1901 when W.W. W. Orcutt, a prominent geologist, recognized that these were fossils of extinct animals and the significance was finally realized. For the next decade, excavations were at their peak as Ida gave permission to the University of California, which yielded thousands of specimens. She passed in 1913 and her son George Allen gave L.A. County the exclusive rights to excavate for a two-year period. The scale of these findings was massive. George Allen Hancock eventually donated 23 acres of the ranch to the County of Los Angeles with the stipulation that the park be preserved and the fossils properly exhibited. However, it wouldn't be until 1975 that philanthropist George C. Page began financing and finally in 1977, a museum built on a lake of asphalt finally opened to the public. So how do these animals get stuck? The tar pits are actually only a few inches deep. They did not sink like quicksand into the tar. It's important to note that there are nine times as many herbivores as carnivores. This is called entrapment. If an herbivore would get stuck, the carnivores would rush in to grab their meal, and lo and behold, they'd get stuck as well. Only one human has been found in the La Brea tar pits, a young woman believed to be between 18 and 25 who lived 9,000 years ago and was 4 foot 8. Excavations are ongoing to this day, and so far, more than 1 million bones have been recovered, representing more than 400 different species of animal. More than 400,000 people visit La Brea Tar Pits annually, giving insight into 50,000 years of Los Angeles history. All right, LA, it's been a minute.